Van Halen 2 is the, as you would have guessed, the second studio album by the hard rock band Van Halen. And I do like Maison Van Halen. Um, I did review the first record, I believe, a while ago. Maybe 1984, but I don't think so. So this is their second review, requested by uh, Zach Sharman. And this is not a classic release, it is a short but sweet record. Hard rock, heavy metal, according to Wikipedia, so that's fair. Um, it has, I believe, 11 songs. It has 10 actually, really consistent. 31 minutes long is not too long, you know. It's a little bit too short for me, but you know, it's hard rock, so it's not supposed to be like an epic suite or something like that. Um, we have the first single, You're No Good, or the first song written by Clint Ballard Jr. Uh, so there we go. Only song that wasn't written by the by the uh, other bandmates. Uh, so You're No Good has a really kind of ominous intro to it, it sounds kind of mystique, uh, but later goes into a more commercial sound, and then actually David Lee Roth has some really insane moments on there, as in vocal performances, those are pretty wild. So I did really enjoy that, um, his vocals are arguably on his best here, really incredible vocals by David Lee Roth, and an overall kick-ass tune to start the entire record off. Then with Dance the Night Away, easily the catchiest song of the record, 3 minutes long. Um, yeah, you know, a it, it is just a classic. Um, I just really love, you know, the riffs on here. The kind of feel good riffs on there are just really catchy, really captivating. The chorus, you know, Dance the Night Away. Just a really solid and very catchy uh, song and it deserves to be, you know, one of Halen's best because it really is. And then we have Somebody Get Me A Doctor. Um, I did really enjoy this song. It was pretty heavy, it was pretty uh, nonsensical. But overall the song is kind of repetitive for me. It's still good but... Uh, but you know, they're just saying the title over and over again. Um, it's good, I can do without but yeah, there we go. Then we have Bottoms Up, this is just a fun little tune about, you know, drinking it up and just, you know, messing uh, around with each other. Um, yeah, this song overall just, you know, gets you into a feel-good vibe, you know, Bottoms Up, just, you know, drink away, stuff like that. So this was really enjoyable, I would say, uh, really, you know, loosely tuned. Uh, don't take it too seriously because Halen isn't really too serious of a band itself. Uh, you know, don't go to Hayden if you want something serious, but they're still a fun band and Bottoms Up is the definition of that. Then we have Outer Love again, and this kind of reminds me of Dance the Night Away, a really catchy tune, but still, you know, has its, uh, you know, issues, or has its, you know, um, uh, subjects, you know, Dance the Night Away, as in, um, you know, if you don't have anything else to do, then dance it away and dance all your problems away or something, maybe something like that. And yeah, they're basically saying here that you know they're out of love again. They got broken up, or they don't have don't have the best um, love life, so to say. Uh, so this is a relatable tune. It is uh, pretty catchy as well, but while still being you know uh, short, consistent, and being a solid hard rock tune, but it still has its you know it it still is an emotional track. Uh, so definitely, you know, enjoy this track, but also listen to it carefully because it's definitely one of those tracks that has kind of the best of both worlds, I suppose. Now we have Light, Light of the Sky, and this is kind of a uh, an, another kind of filler tune. Uh, not bad per se, but this song, you know, I could do without. It was one of those songs that that, that I was kind of like, eh, you know, it is alright, but uh, I can do without. Uh, so overall, good song. It was uh, solid on the record, but you know you have so many classics on there, so you're gonna you're gonna be a little bit overshadowed, to say at least. Then we have Spanish Fly. It's one minute long. It's kind of like the eruption of Halen 2. Um, yeah, it's just a sweet little you know acoustic song. Um, you know, kind of kind of reminds me of D of. Um, you know, uh, Randy Rhodes with Ozzy Osbourne, kind of reminds me of that. It sounds kind of similar in a way. Uh, it is really fast, it is a really fast picked uh, instrumental acoustic uh, intro, or kind of an instrumental as a whole. 
So it is that, it is just quick, quirky, fast. Um, you know, it does what it wants to do in one minute and it's one hell of an instrumental, you know, it is incredible. It, it feels like an epic or something, but it's just one a minute long. So that is the magic that you can have with an instrumental, great. Then we have DOA, and this is kind of a uh, back to the Halen debut, you know. It is heavy, it is ferocious, it is epic. It is just an overall kick ass tune. Uh, I can't really say uh, something about it otherwise because it just kicks ass a lot and it's just an overall epic track. I don't know where it stands for though. Probably They probably said it in the lyrics, but I can't, I can't be asked. Uh, then we have w uh, Women in Love, and this is just kind of like, uh, kind of their second part of Ain't Talking About Love, and although it isn't, you know, the original better, it isn't quite the original, but it still is a catchy song, it still reminds you of the debut record, and it still is an incredible tune, I think, and it's still, you know, um, yeah, you know, it, it, it is still a great tune, I think. Um, yeah, although I must say that it is a little bit on the unoriginal side because of the... It kind of just kind of reminds you of the debut, I mean, come on now. But it's, it still is a classic song and it still is one of the highlights of the record. Um, and then we have Beautiful Girls and this is actually also one of the singles, I believe. Um, yeah, this song is... Um, yeah, it was actually together with DOA, I don't... Uh, yeah, I don't understand why singles are double, you know, why are, why are they just not, you know, one uh, one single, why, uh, you know, do they have to be both, I don't understand that, but it's alright. Uh, yeah, but Beautiful Girls, uh, just a really catchy closing song, um, yeah, just kind of the same as the other songs, you know, don't think about it too much. Just enjoy your time, just enjoy the song itself and you will have a good time with the song. Um, yeah, you know Hayden is just talking about the good life, just talking about getting pussy and uh, being rich and doing drugs, I suppose. It's just kind of the typical rock and roll style and Beautiful Girls is exactly that. Uh, so overall this was a solid uh, follow up record of solid sophomore effort to their to their epic debut record, Halen, you know, the just self-titled. Uh, incredible record, still really good. Although it isn't the debut record, but it still is a solid follow-up. It's still one of Maiden's, Maiden, Maiden, Maiden's, uh, other, other bands, other way better bands, but yeah, let's get them out of the way. Uh, but, you know, uh, Halen 2, still a solid follow up to uh, the Halen original and still one of Halen's strongest albums to this, albums to this day. Uh, so I would give it a... Um, I would give it an 8.8, .8. it was still a really solid album and um, yeah, you know, it is a strong record. Um, like I said, it isn't a debut but it still is maybe their best, second, third, fa uh, second, third best album. So there we go. Uh, yeah, let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below. I've been on as I hope you've enjoyed this video. Like on the to channel on more videos later. But let me know what you, what you thought about this uh, Halen Records right here. Requested by Zach Shaw and I will see you guys in the next video. God bless, take care and peace.